The clamshell is arguably the most prescribed exercise with people dealing with back and hip pain. And unfortunately, this often makes the pain worse, not better. For those who don't know me, my name is Dr. Zachary Reed, and today I'm going to explain why you need to stop doing the clamshells, and I'll give you some better alternatives. The most common purpose for doing clamshells is to target the glute med. And this is a small muscle on the side of your hip that goes from the iliac crest down to the bone on the greater trochanter. And this muscle has two functions to laterally raise your leg away from midline, abduction, or to stabilize the pelvis in such things as walking, standing, and running. So if you think of my three fingers as a glute med, there's actually three sections. There's the anterior section, the middle section, and the posterior section. And the way you move your hip can affect which part of the muscle you're activating, which is gonna be relevant later in the video. And normally I'm not a fan of people putting green checks by certain exercises or red X's by certain exercises, saying some are always good or always bad. A lot of times it's context specific. But with the clamshell, this may be the one time where this is an exercise that at best of times is just no effect. And if you do have hip pain, it most likely is gonna make it worse. The first reason we need to stop doing the clamshell when we have hip pains, if you think of the glute muscle right here, and this bone is your thigh bone, and this red band is your tendon, well that tendon lays right on top of that bone. And when you open your legs up in the clamshell, that tendon goes back and forth over that bone. So even though you're strengthening the muscle a little bit, tendons really do not like compression and friction, especially when they're painful. And guess what's happening? Every time you move your leg, that band is going back and forth, back and forth, irritating that tendon more. So it's gonna make your pain worse, not better. And at this point, if you'd like the video, subscribe to our channel, and then don't forget to turn on notifications. The second cause is these anterior tissues of the hip can cause pain. And when they're irritated, the one thing they don't like is hip flexion bringing that hip up in internal rotation. That pushes the ball into the socket. Well, with the clamshell, guess what you're doing? You're lifting that leg up, flexion, and internally rotating that hip. So every time you open and close your hip to strengthen that glute med, you're actually irritating the structures that are causing your pain. Now we know why we don't want to do it when we have hip pain. But what about if you don't have any hip pain and you want to strengthen your lateral hip muscles or the glute med? Well, it turns out this exercise is a really low load activation level on that glute med, about at most 13%. So it's not really gonna give you a lot of bang for your buck and it's kind of wasted time. And there's a lot of better options out there. In this next section, we're gonna talk about three different levels, level one, mild, level two, moderate, and level three, advanced. And so you can kind of figure out the right entry point and then progress accordingly. Sideline hip abduction. Lay down your side with your affected hip up, your knee straight and your foot neutral. If you're like up towards the ceiling, recommend it being against a wall and keeping your heel in contact with the wall at all times. Feel tension on the outside of your hip. One way to regress this if this is too challenging is to bend your knee slightly and repeat the motion. A common error to be aware of is letting your hip go into flexion as we demonstrate here. Make sure to keep your heel in contact with the wall at all times. Forward step up. Using a small step or stair, we're gonna step up keeping your knees straight and your pelvis level, and then return to the starting position. As you step up, keep your torso upright, and don't lean forward. One common error to be aware of is as you step up, the opposite side of the pelvis dips as you demonstrate here. Make sure you use your muscles to hold you upright and don't lean to one side. Sideways lunge. You're gonna step out with one leg, keeping one leg straight and press your hip backwards. Show tension on the back of the hamstring and the outside of your hip. Return to the starting position. Again, step out laterally and press the hip back. One common error to be aware of is that when you step out, instead of pushing the hip back, your knee goes forward and that can cause some knee pain, as we demonstrate here. Again, make sure to step outwards and press your hips backwards. Standing hip abduction. So standing against the wall, we're gonna press our leg outwards or laterally as far as we can, making sure that we feel emphasis on the muscles of the hip, not the back. Some people may help by stabilizing with one hand on the wall, Make sure that you feel tension in your lateral hip muscles and not the back and keep the knee straight and the foot neutral. Lateral step up. With that same small step or chair, we're gonna step up laterally, so at 90 degrees. So we're gonna step up, keep that knee straight and that pelvis in neutral, pause for half a second, and then step down. Again, make sure that your muscles are holding you up and you're not leaning to one side and feel tension on the outside of the hip. Sideline abduction with internal rotation. So with your affected hip up, we're gonna take that foot and put it into internal rotation or point your toes down. Maintaining this position, we're gonna use our lateral hip muscles to raise our leg up towards the ceiling, feeling tension over that lateral hip, and then return to the starting position. 
But again, it's important to keep that internal rotation or toes pointing down throughout the whole movement. Again, keep your knees straight and you putting your back against the wall and keeping the heel in contact can be a good cue. Side bridge, laying on your side with your elbow under your shoulder, keeping your knees straight. We're gonna press up, keeping ourselves in a side plank or bridge position. You're gonna hold this for as long as you can, making sure your pelvis is in line with your legs. Make sure to keep your shoulder over your elbow and keep your core engaged. Again, you feel tension on the outside of both hips. Thank you for watching our video on the clamshell. If you found it helpful, please share it with friends. Cause again, this exercise is probably the most prescribed exercise for rehab. And it can also frustrate people because again, it makes your pain worse or it's ineffective. Therefore it's like, what are you doing? If you did find this video helpful, please like the video and subscribe to our channel. And we have lots of other great videos that you can check out.